this is Greg from SharePoint Maven and what I would like to do today is explain to you how you can create your personal custom views in SharePoint. Now uh, I want to clarify first what I mean by that uh, the, the personal custom views. Uh, what I mean are the views, custom views on a SharePoint list or a document library. All right now uh, custom views allow a user um, who is logged in to, to view information in a custom list or a document library uh, the way he or she wants. Uh, now, custom views really only make sense uh, when you have metadata, when you utilize metadata. So obviously if you utilize, if you have a custom list with all the different columns and metadata, obviously, you know, custom views would apply there. Uh, and in the context of a document library, if you have metadata, once again, custom views would apply. Uh, if you use folders, uh, not so much, because you see with folders, right? Let's say we have a document library with folders. There is really no way for us to filter. Um, there is nothing to filter on, right? Other than maybe a, a few fields, system fields. Uh, with uh, document libraries that are folder based, um, you know, the folder hierarchy is the kind of the only way to, to visualize your document library. Now, it's different with metadata, right? With metadata, as you can see, for example, I have a library here with a number of documents and they're all tagged against the client name and document type. And of course, any user, any user, any member of the team can, you know, come in and say, you know what, I want to, to view only certain documents, um, you know, the, the certain, so by certain clients, certain document type, or maybe, you know, uh, they can group the, um, um, you know, by different columns, certain filter, whatever they want. Now, uh, with that being said, what the idea behind this personal custom views is that, you know, if the user wants to visualize the information a certain way, you know, we don't want them to, to filter and group and, you know, and sort every time, um, every single time. The idea is that they pretty much filter and group and sort uh, in a certain way. And then the idea is that they can save this view as their personal little view. All right. And whatever view they, they would save, uh, it will only be available to them. Nobody else can see that, that view. It's only, it's really just a personal view that's available to those users. So how do we, how do we create a, a personal custom view? So any user, any user who is a regular team member, you don't need to be an admin, you don't need to be IT to do that. Any, any team member uh, of a SharePoint site uh, can create custom views. And it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty straightforward. So let me show you. So uh, once again, let's say I have this library and you know what, and I'm logged in as Mary. All right, I'm logged in as Mary here and Mary, just uh, to show you in terms of permissions, Mary is is a member, all right? So she's not, not an owner, she's not a site collection admin, she's just a regular team uh, member with add, added delete rights. So here we go. Uh, and by the way, right, you know, by default, uh, we only have one view. This is really a default view um, that just kind of, I call it a flat list view where it just shows you all the metadata and columns and rows. Uh, nothing is grouped or, or, or sorted in any way. So once again, Mary, let's just say that Mary wants to group things by this column called client. All right. And then maybe Mary is only interested in... Uh, uh, invoices so she doesn't care about any other document types here we go and um, and maybe you know what let's just also uh, let's just also maybe sort it uh, by modified date all right here we go perfect so we did a few things we you know Mary grouped it uh, by this column she filtered the, the you know the document type column and she also sorted this modified uh, date column perfect we don't want Mary to uh, to do this every single time. Um, so what Mary needs to do after, you know, she did all of this, she just needs to save this view as her personal little view. So she needs to click on the drop down and say, save you as, and specify, let's just say Mary's view. All right. And you see there is a choice available to Mary. Uh, Mary can also uh, actually make this a, a public view if she wants, uh, but um, you know, in our case, let's just create a private view 
uh, that means so public view really means that everyone can enjoy this view all right uh, and uh, private view means that essentially um, only Mary will uh, will be able to see it in the drop down here we go perfect so now let me demonstrate so once again next time Mary comes in you know she will probably see this which is a default but look at this here we go Mary's view appearing over here once again this is a personal um, you know personal little view that Mary created only Mary can see it so if John and other individual logs in uh, to the um, to this library um, you know John will not be able to see Mary's view because Mary made it private and let me just show you here I am logged in as another individual uh, over here on the on on, on another uh, browser so let me just show you if I click on all documents drop down let's just wait till it reloads the screen perfect here we go look at this you see I do not see Mary's uh, view at all uh, and the reason is uh, because Mary made her you know view personal all right um, so that's pretty much it that's all I wanted to show this uh, that's all I wanted to show you today uh, a great feature, a great usability feature, you know, for end users, especially, if, obviously, well, not especially if you use metadata. Um, and you can obviously, each user can specify uh, a particular way, way that, you know, he or she wants to, to view the information uh, in a metadata document library. So pretty useful. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. And I hope to see you again on my YouTube channel, as well as my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day.